you ever been on a long trip that felt like it took forever to get where you're going? Well, how would you like to go on a long trip into space? I'm dressed and ready. I have my rocket with me and I'm ready to zoom off to space. Do you want to count me down? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! That may have sounded like something that you've seen in a movie or read in a book. But for some people, this is real life. Do you know which people I'm talking about? That's right, I'm talking about astronauts who live in space for months at a time. They live on the International Space Station, which is also known for short as the ISS. The ISS orbits around the Earth. Do you remember what the word orbit means? To go around. Alright, so the ISS travels around the Earth and the astronauts inside the spaceship get to see everything from outer space. They do science experiments, learning about new life and other species in space. Now to get there, astronauts are carried up into space by rockets. But when they come back down, they arrive in space castles. Let's have a closer look. These big, fat, shiny things are solar panels and they provide energy for the space station. They capture sunlight and turn it into electricity. The space station then uses this electricity to power lights, computers and everything else that makes the space station work. This is a robot arm. Astronauts inside the station use this by remote control to fix things on the outside of the space station. Although it may not look like it, the space station is actually like a big house. It has five bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, which is known as the galley, and it even has a laboratory to do experiments. As you can imagine, Life in the space station is a lot different than it is back here on Earth. For one thing, all the water that astronauts use had to be flown up to space by a rocket. Now since it's so hard to get water up to space, the water is only used for drinking Astronauts don't take baths or showers like the way we do at home. Instead, they use special cloths and washers. That is not the biggest difference though. The biggest difference between Earth and space is gravity. There is a lot less gravity in the spacecraft or in the International Space Station than there is on Earth. So whilst on Earth, we are stuck to the ground, up in the space station, it's pretty much floating around as you please. So in a way, it's a lot easier to move around in the space station. However, there is a downside to this. And this is after a few days, the muscles in your legs and hands get a bit lazy 
and start to get really weak. In order to keep healthy and fit, astronauts need to spend at least two hours every day exercising. In this way, their muscles stay fit and healthy and when they return back to Earth, they don't have any problems with the normal day-to-day -day, uh, business of walking around or doing things like we would normally do when we are on Earth. Now, apart from that two hours of vigorous exercising, the rest of the time, the astronauts spent conducting experiments. Mm, this sounds really interesting. They do all types of experiments. They study plants to see how they grow in space how they adapt to the different environment, the different quality of air. They also study animals like fish to see how their muscles are doing in this low gravity zone. They also study robots and how robots work in space. Say hello to Robonaut 2. He is a robot that lives full time on the International Space Station. He is known by his friends as R2. R2 is there to help astronauts do things mostly on the outside of the space station. R2 can use tools and can even go on a spacewalk by himself. Spacewalks? What are these? Spacewalks? are when astronauts put on their spacesuits and leave the spaceship and go outside into space to have a walk around and a look around, gather information and samples to study and to bring back to Earth. This is a video clip from NASA showing two astronauts who have landed on the moon. They are taking a spacewalk and as you can see they have their country's flag in their hand can you identify that flag? And they are going to leave it there to show that they were there. Spacewalks are not done very often though. They are only done when astronauts need to fix something on the outside of the spacecraft or they need to gather information. So, life on the International Space Station is really hard work and is really different to our life here on Earth. But if you ask me, the astronauts who get to go up and live in space are pretty lucky. They get to see things that we can only dream about. If you work really hard and really want to become an astronaut, who knows, maybe you could be the next astronaut.